Hello, you've been waiting for this one. I don't even play them, I don't kind of like them, but I know they're very fashionable right now. Giraldes published a step by step on his Facebook profile, so you want, may want to go and check. The link is below. We're not following the same method. What he does is using brush for everything. Why well, we want to be very quick. Although it's not really possible, it's gonna take you like one hour and a half, something like that. So obviously we start from black, we keep adding white to the black. You also may use grays, it's up to you. Next, we add some uh, brownish color to the limbs. And uh, you may want to use masks here, but just be creative. You don't really need to use liquid mask all the time, you see? The best mask, your finger. And there we go. You may uh, find that by using an airbrush you tend to lose some of the color and uh, I'm giving it back by using washes. I'm using a flesh shade for the brownish parts and some bluish wash from Secret uh, Weapon Washes. It's just fantastic especially for skins because it gives a satin finish. Blue and orange are complementary colors. This is why they work very well together. I find they work much better than just gray and black tan. This is why I find that investing some time in doing that is not a waste of time. Note that when doing dry brushing, I'm not putting the color on the wet palette. Yeah, I know, it's obvious. Also, dry brushing is a great time saver, it's a great method. So don't shy away from it, just uh, do it properly. Using some washes on top of dry brushed uh, surfaces is great for hiding artifacts. For the wounds, this is very, very easy. Basically, you have to use this uh, orange brown, I guess it is, or cork brown, I don't remember, then some red ink, and then just below the red area, you use some ivory or some yellowish uh, white. You want to use a yellowish white because otherwise red becomes pink, and this is not something you know very pleasant and realistic. And the animal is finished. For the blade, I'm using the uh, same method Angel uses in the step by step. Uh, you may find the link below and heavily uses dry brushing. I'm also using a little technical paint. If you don't have it, take some turquoise, take some white, mix them together. Once you achieve the right color, uh, use alcohol to dilute it instead of water. And there you have it. For the leather, I'm starting from a base coat of leather brown, simply because it's called leather. Really, I mean, I guess there are no other reasons any brown would do. Uh, it's very interesting, the stippling method that uh, Giraldez uses, I'm not using it right now. So we are left with the crest and then we're fucking finished. Finally, it took me like two hours, because in reality, you know, that the brush part is kind of time consuming. See you soon, kiss the kids, don't be good, being good is boring. <laughs>